Hey, Dan. Hey. <laughs> what makes a bongo a good bongo? It's a, it's a good skin. It's a good tune. Good skin is important. Good tune is important. Yeah, I prefer bongos to have, I don't know, a bit of a textured skin so you can hear your hand doing all the hand percussion. Like, that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, malleable. Oh, okay. So you want a certain bit of looseness about it. Also a really nice dead sound when your finger's on it. Nice little yeah, pat. sound all right. <laughs> He's doing the truffle shuffle. <laughs> oh, I wish you'd no. shut up. <laughs> Why are you wet? Because you're raining outside. I have a question. How are you? Um, were you not wearing a coat? I was wearing a coat. And that's also wet. But why Why didn't that make you drier? I mean, it's made my body dry, just not the, the extremities that were poking out of the coat, such as my head and my legs. Why doesn't it have a hood? Because it's a hoodless coat. Why do you own one of those? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Put it off. What's making it do that? It's the LFO. <laughs> that's the intensity. That's like the intensity of it. It's expensive, but I could see myself walking away with it. Uh, I don't know, you couldn't, you know, sprinkle a bit of something something on there to really, you know, reel it in, reel in the sale. I don't know what I have left to give you. Uh, I don't know, you could uh, throw in the CD drive. I don't know why they don't have those anyway. I can't. Even if I wanted to. I'm... Well, uh, you're, you're the boss. You're the, you're the king in the north, so... Um, I guess you just talked yourself out of the sale, though, so... Thank you, anyway. Uh, you're watching the live vlog from 116B. We're going straight into the preamp. Neve. 1073. We're just going loud. We're going as loud as we can. Hi, Stephen. Hi. Push your gut in, Stephen. Uh, that one sounds really good, what you just did. That one. Cabinets are a very like particular kind of speaker insofar as they move. The very purpose of it is to, is to spin. What's happening is there's basically two speakers on a revolving mechanism which just spin constantly. And that's what creates the sort of chorus-y, vibrato-y, tremolo-y. It has a lot of sort of qualities. So, but how do, you, how do you capture that? How do you capture what's in the room using microphones? This is one technique. What, what we have here basically is two Sherps cardioid microphones one of which is pointing at a right angle to the other. So these will be on left and right. The reason why they're at a right angle rather than, for example, one being on this side and another on this side is simply because it's got two horns, they're called horns, um, which, which is spinning and, and they face away from each other. So what, what we're getting here basically, when one is receiving the full blast of what's coming out of the horn, we want the other one to point at the null point, which is the point where no sound's coming from. And that is how you get 
your largest difference in volume and that's how you get the stereo feel when you put one to one ear one to the other the bottom drummer it only has one horn so we just got one microphone there large diaphragm so it can capture the low end really well great job steven <laughs> I don't yeah. really want to like take one and scribble out all the ones you don't want to do. Yes, that's one. Yeah. You completely fucked it up. Oh, this will be my one. Say bye to Simon. Bye, Dan. Have fun. I wasn't sure if you'd remember me. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I, I do. Oh man, I wondered if you met John Snow earlier. He's working at the Apple shop now. I've come here to help him. Yeah? Mm, yeah, I mean, I did only go in for some screws and then he did try to upsell me to a MacBook. And then he didn't even throw in a CD drive, so... Oh. I don't know what that means. Um. So, like, more of a Windows guy? But I know you better 